Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing AS Claude's moveset as well as skills, and we're going to show a little bit of gameplay with him activating his win zone. Now, of course, the one and most important question is: Is he hot or not? He's hot since he comes from royalty, and he's a sugar daddy. Yep, I can't compete with that. Anyways, as a bow user, his base attack is actually not as powerful as a lot of um, sword or katana users, and so he's average in that department. That being said, he does have moves that actually boost his bow's attack, which we'll go over a little bit later. Otherwise, um, you know, relatively average in most other stats. So you can see his level 3 Valor Chant, which is the Wind King Stance, which is the Wind Zone, and also decreases physical resistance of all enemies for one turn. So very good in increasing your damage by 20% essentially. Now these are the three moves I'm going with. However, you can actually adjust based on your needs. So Acute Inciting uh, can in speed up by 30% as well as Int up. Now a lot of people do have um, VCs that can uh, power up Int. And to be fair, you're going to be using an all-physical team, so that might not have as much of an uh, impact on your DPS as uh, if you were having an all-mage team. That being said, you know, you have some options. He also does have a 15% um, you know, power down if needed. Now his two AS moves are essentially these ones. So he can power up 50% uh, damage on all, wind, uh, all um, bow users, which is himself, of course. And... He also grants status and immunity for one time. So very, very reminiscent of Rosetta. And so uh, for those who have Rosetta, is it very, very useful? Uh, that being said, obviously in this team, we're just going to do the damage and not worry about status. His other one is a very powerful version of uh, wind uh, debuff resistance and stackable, just like a zombie. And he can also uh, stack orbs on himself. Uh, so after two turns of orbs, on the third turn, he can do extra damage on his third hit. So um, yeah, very, very good. The other thing you have to know is at the end of every turn, um, he will boost the power of all um, physical users on the party, or I guess all users, by 10% uh, per wind move used. So if you have three moves used before he does uh, AF, for example, then you'll have 30% power up as well. So really, really awesome. Now I just went over his board, so you can see his 5 star moves as well as um, the rest of them. Now in terms of Grasta, we're going with the standard 20-20-30. And of course, power and speed are always the most useful for physical type attackers. Let's take them all on a spin. So as a solo, um, he's actually pretty good. He does have the AoE AS move, um, which gives himself and all bow users 50% increased attack power. Like I said, I'm not really sure if that's very, very useful, but um, during AF, obviously you can do it on first turn, um, and especially during wind zone, it still does boost uh, the AF bar. Uh, that being said, um, you know, it's useful if you need some extra AoE clearing. And even at level 68, more than enough to clear most mobs. And we'll just show you that one more time. Now note that all his moves do cost a lot of MP, so in long protracted battles, you will have uh, issues with MP. But let's be honest, when you have a zone character and you can establish zones, you can probably end battles in two or three turns. So in this case, we're going to go over two battles against bosses. First, unfortunately, we're going to uh, punch out the gnome one more time. And I'm sorry, gnome, we always take out win DPS uh, battles on you to show the power of our win team. Now keep in mind that uh, once we do uh, do the full AF bar, it kills the boss very very quickly. And not only that, but when the boss dies, all the debuffs disappear. So the damage actually doesn't stack up as much as you would like. Now you can see that the wind zone has been activated. All the power of all the team has been increased uh, by 10% per uh, wind move done um, before the end of the turn. So. During the first turn, you really want to use Dragon Assault as well as um, uh, Heavenly Dance, not only to boost uh, the AF bar before turn 2 AF, but to power your team by 20% essentially. And of course, in conjunction with Morgana's High Wind Booster, um, and now Miracle Punch during AF, 
uh, the crit hits really stack up, and you can see all the damage are in the multi six figure damage. So, you know, uh, even Claude is not doing quite as much damage as the rest of the team. Morgana did over a million damage right alone in the last hit, 500,000 and 500,000. So, uh, as a free character, Morgana is a quite is amazing in a wind DPS team. Now, I can't comment about other wind DPS since I only have really these four as my top. And Shannon, well, you suck. We're not gonna use you. And even with your manifest weapon, uh, maybe we'll figure it out in the future. All right. So in our second example, uh, we're going to fight someone who's not uh, vulnerable, uh, as in not weak to wind. So vulnerable to weak wind attacks, however, um, is not weak in terms of doubling the damage. So you won't see as quite of a large um, boost to your AF bar pre zone. If you saw my first video, I mean, even with our regular uh, wind DPS, I was able to end the battle in a few turns. That being said, we can clearly uh, end this in two turns, which you'll see shortly. Also, remember that um, wind characters do have an advantage against earth characters, and that's why we're bringing a full wind team. You might say this is a little bit of an overkill, but at the end of the day, we want to end battles not only quickly and concisely, but it's a little bit cocky. Um, when we can deal multi-millions of damage in only two turns. So again, same thing, High Wind Booster, um, in conjunction with um, the move that boosts his own uh, bow attack, and then a whole bunch of wind attacks back to back to back to back. Now keep in mind that uh, with the advent of having AS Pod stacking wind um, debuff resistance uh, down, Azami's uh, combination wind isn't quite as useful, although you can still stack multi um, stacks of wind resistance debuff. But remember, with uh, re uh, diminishing returns, you get less of a benefit after you stack, um, you know, those three stacks of one character. So overall, I would rank AS Claude among the top wind DPS in the game. He himself might not deal all the damage, however, because of the fact that he can activate wind zone. It essentially means game over to any uh, boss or enemy that is vulnerable to wind. Now just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.